Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and this is lesson six in note readings. Now, in the first five lessons of this series, I went over some of the most critical notes. Of course, they're all critical, but I went over those which you'll probably be using the most at first. The five in the uh, treble clef, or the right-hand clef, and then another five in the left-hand clef. Now, I would like to go on to teach you yet a couple of new notes in this lesson. And again, as you recall, I was saying that I like to only give just a couple of notes to learn, sometimes three depending on the lesson, so that you can follow them very easily. Now, as you recall, earlier on we had our C, our D, E, F, and G, all that we learned in the treble or the right hand clef. And here we have it, I'll label them once again. These you should now be very familiar with, and if you would like, you can always go back and look at those earlier lessons. Now, in terms of the newest note I'd like to teach you is I am going to do one kind of outlying. It's kind of up here, and I'm even going to put the stem down like this because as we get higher, we tend to put the stems down so that it doesn't run off the page. But this is the newest note I want to teach you right here. And this is what I tell students is the higher C. It is also a C, just like middle C, except it's up actually the eight steps or what we call the octave above the middle C. This is the higher C. Later on, we will see even higher Cs yet. But for now, this is the one that I want you to really focus in on. So what I'm going to do is I'll now erase this right here. And then I'm going to write a row of C's across here. Again, this, this is all the same note. And by the way, this is a great technique uh, if you would like to uh, learn notes very quickly, is to do a whole bunch of repeated notes of the same note all the way across because it really emphasizes memory when we have that kind of repetition. So this is what I call the higher C. So there is this note. Now I want to show you what we consider is the lower C. It is in the bass clef. Now, as you recall, in the earlier lessons, we learned C, B, A, G, and F. And again, these are all in the earlier lessons. And now, taking a look at this, I am going to draw one down here, way down here. It's actually in the second space. You'll see one, two, three, four spaces. This is in the second space. This is what we call the lower C. And it, just like the higher C in the right hand, is an eighth or an octave below middle C. So there it is. There is our lower C. Now let me erase these. Actually, I'm going to erase this as well. And I'm going to write a series of lower C's across. Now, one thing that is very neat about learning the low C and the high C in this lesson is that it's kind of out there. It's kind of down there. It's not too far down, but it's down there. Just like this one, the high C is up there, but it's not too high up. And notice that in the right hand, it's in the third space, whereas in the left hand, it's in second space. But this is the higher C, and this is the lower C. And for those of you who had watched the videos on how to find notes on the piano, all you need to do is to locate a middle C, and then simply go eight steps or an octave down to get the low C, eight steps up to get the high C. So in this lesson, that was my focal point. I wanted you to learn just those two, and it will yet add to your vocabulary. Again, these lessons are purposely intended this way to where we only learn two and possibly three notes per lesson so that it makes the lesson very easy for you to follow and very quick to learn notes. I have found as a teacher all these years that by doing it in this fashion and doing it in short little lessons, it really does improve not only the memory, but the details and helps you to learn notes very quickly. Look forward to seeing you in the next lessons. Thank you.